hi everybody welcome back to ooblets it's been a hot minute since we've played ooblets <gasps> alex is here hi alex it's been a while since i've streamed and it's been a while since i've played ooblets at all but here we are so let's get started they added a halloween update that i thought would be gone by now so i'm pretty excited to do this we get to put on a costume and go trick-or-treating with our little pail, our little jack-o'-lantern pail. It's pretty cute. And then you can buy all these costumes and stuff. So we'll see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. So we need 70 pieces of candy and you can trick-or-treat everybody once a day. So we'll just run around and do that a little bit, and I'll chat with you guys. So what's new? How's everybody doing? I don't know, some of you may have not, uh, never seen me stream this game before. <gasps> There's some obsidian, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, I guess I should talk to everybody too, two times so that I can get friendship with them. But how's everybody doing? How you doing, Alex? You keep sending emojis, I hope that means you're doing well. This is gonna be a pretty chill stream, I think. Sad? Oh no. Sad emoji. I'm sorry to hear that. My condolences. I forgot about all our little... <sighs> Cargo boink? Uh-oh. Look at our ooblets. Bastard. There he is. The boy. Oh my god. You can go home, I don't want you. <gasps> Lemon's here! Welcome. Nope, can't buy you yet. Rewatching some anime that are amazing, found this hilarious conspiracy channel. That's exciting. God, can you hear my computer fan going? Because this game is really making it chug along. That's who we're dressed as, by the way. Charles. See, we've got his little jacket on. We match. Guy said that UV light kills viruses, which is true. Interesting. Didn't know that. I did buy a treasure chest today so I could store some stuff. My inventory was full. Let me know if the uh, audio levels are okay too. Because it's been a while since I've streamed a desktop game, so... So make sure you go sun gazing, stare at the sun, absorb the UV lights. Oh my god. It's one way to hurt people, I guess. Cool. You're getting a shit ton of candy. Okay, we've got ten candy. So that means we can already buy one thing. You can't see now. <laughs> yeah. That's what would happen. He also said Zeus became Jesus. Alright, well, I don't know about that one. 
I don't usually get into conspiracies and stuff. I just feel like I get frustrated at people being so stupid. Did I already go down here? Here's where I burned all my crops. Don't think I forgot about that. I think that was before Alex and Lemon, you hung out on my stream. That was one of my first, like, clipped moments. I mean, I clipped it because I don't have anybody who watches, but, you know. <laughs> Still. Could you imagine if I burned this candy right now, this rare material currency. His explanation was something along the line of if you can put a J in front of Zeus, it becomes J Zeus. That's asinine. Who have I not talked to today? Padraig. That's who I didn't talk to. Anyone heard about the thing the U.S. did in the Vietnam War? Probably something horrible. Ghost tapes? Oh my god. I did not hear about that. I might have, actually. But I don't know the details. Y'all, I am not excited for the rest of this week. I have a 8-hour shift and a 7-hour shift the next two days. Look it up? Okay, I'll look it up later. I have to work 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow. Then I have to work 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. the next day. And I'm not happy about it. I mean, I am and I'm not. I'm happy I'm getting hours because then I get money, but you know. Alright. My favorite quote from him is now, in the Bible, it says you fell into sin, but in actuality you fell into skin. This guy sounds like a lunatic, if I'm honest with you. Here, let me adjust my chair really quick. Hope I don't bump my mic. I love trying to scoot a, like, kitchen chair across carpet. He's a maniac. You love him. Huh. <sighs> Still trying to scoop my chair. Sorry. Okay. So, alright. This is what we're here for. I said last time I played this that I would play again when there was an update. There was, and now we can go to nowhere and get some more ooblets. I probably won't catch any ooblets today. I'm probably just gonna do the quest. Um... And we'll see what that's about. And then I might keep trick-or-treating and chatting with people. And then we'll probably end stream after that. After I get all the Halloween stuff. But let's go to nowhere. Let's see what's going on here. His intro is just a loop and is a minute long. Well, I love the music right out the bat. I swear if you're another creep cult recruit here to haunt our swamp. A what? No. I can't go anywhere anymore without these cultist goofballs popping out to give me a heart attack, ruining my daily power walks. Cultists? I did not expect cultists to be in this game. The creep cult. They're these Halloween halfwits who turned up to nowhere to act all spooky. Well, it seems like the place for it. They don't think us nowhere natives fit the aesthetic of the swamp, and so they've been trying to scare us out. 
This used to be a relaxing place for folks to take quiet, pleasant walks. Now it's full of these kids acting all spooky and they're creeping everybody out. You know how kids these days are with their fads and Halloween cults. Absolutely, yeah, no, t I totally know what you're talking about. I'm just here to turn on the Oopnet Tower. Well, good luck. The creep cult took that over as their headquarters. Who knows what kitschy macabre baloney they get up to in there. If you convince them to let you in, maybe you can convince them to stop bothering everyone. Maybe I can. I will do my best. Alright, let me look at chat here. <gasps> look at this little thing! He talks about demons. He pulls up a pick of Cthulhu says he basically has one in his living room. Oh my god. Oh, you've listened to the tapes? The tapes, those tapes, Alex would probably creep me out. Ooh, spooky noises coming at you to disturb and terrify. Can you point me to the Oobnet Tower? I'm not. How? Hold on, what is your name? Howling Howerb? Never. Only the highest level creep cardinals are allowed to enter the temple. What if I beat you in an Ooblet dance off? Yeah, sure, no problem. Alright, let's. <gasps> oh, you got a green one? Look at this thing. I love it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, on my other save file, all my guys are, like, level 20, so let's see how we do, shall we? Let me know if the music is too loud. So for anybody who's new to this game, you have, um... You have dance battles instead of, like, Pokemon battles, basically. And you get seeds, and you grow more ooblets on your, um, farm. That's how you collect them. Jesus. Lay off me, man. Alright, gain a beat, do that immediately. It has been a hot minute since I have played this game, so please bear with me. He pulls up a picture of Davy Jones to show what demons look like. That is something else, friend. That is really something else. Guy sounds crazy. You already said he's a maniac, so... Seems, seems like it. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. I don't know if I can actually beat this right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop stealing my points. They're gonna get me. Alright, we can steal some back. What show is that, Alex? I always liked, um, Yokai Watch. That show's kind of like Pokemon. Gain zero point, come on, man. Monsuno. I have not heard of that. Well, shit, now I don't have enough. Damn it. At least I don't have any more fluster. Canceled that out. Let's stun somebody, too. You watched it when you were younger? Got you. Got you. Wow, they're really kicking my ass. This is embarrassing, oh my god. Am I gonna have to fucking grind off camera? 
to play Ooblids. Oh no. Stop stealing. That's how they keep getting me is stealing these damn points. You guys are going to watch me rage quit this video game. That's probably not true. I have only ever rage quit one game in my life. And that was Punch Out on the Wii. Stop it! Oh my god. Um, yes please. That's gonna be all of my... Mmm... Just to keep them from winning, we'll do that. Oh, it's gonna end in two rounds either way, okay. If you time out, like if you if you take too long, um, you just have to have the most points at the end of the dance battle. This was a real close one, you guys. Maybe I'll level up a whole bunch, because that was hard. Nope. You're re-watching it? That's cool. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of it. Huh, I lost. So anyway, the tower is just up at this path a ways. What is happening to my bucket? Hello? My little trick-or-treat bucket. It's just swinging back and forth. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to catch any of these things. Because they all want really hard stuff to get. I think I'm here a little too soon, maybe. Mind letting me through? Ha! Never. But maybe if you can beat my ghoulish glanter team, I'll capitulate? Uh oh. Is Becca gonna look stupid on stream? I'm easy going like that. Ooh, are these special too? Cute. Oh yeah, I should always have... What is it, Clomper on my team? That's a pretty good one. I don't need to steal any points. But of course, those are all the moves they gave me. Drunken Kung Fu. I don't believe that you are, Lemon. You're 16. <laughs> I'm gonna call CPS if you're good at Drunken Kung Fu. Is that a game? Oh, am I dumb? Is that a game? He uses capsules to hold the monsters. I even remember Walmart carrying the toys. Sounds pretty lit. I literally hate this music in this game. The little art on the cards is so cute. What's CPS gonna do? <laughs> Challenge me to a kung fu duel. You have to stop. Yeah, post a picture of it on Discord, Alex. Totally. Then I might know what you're talking about, because I don't recognize it from the name. Alright. Well, we can do all of this, then. Woo! That's a good move. Is 
it is hard to do commentary for this game. Because I am focusing so goddamn hard right now. Three, four. Okay. Let's steal five points. Drunken boxing is just a fight style where you're all loose and act like a drunk. Use your core to keep your balance. Okay, that makes sense. Woo! Give them some fluster for when they come back from being stunned, and we're good to go. Can't get drunk, you'll die. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would avoid it then. Hmm. Six points and two hype. Steal five points and add fluster. That's a real good one. But I get more points this way. And then I can steal four. We'll do that. Ooh, and we're gonna steal- yes! We're gonna steal even more because we got hype. I guess we'll just take the five points and be done. Cool, we did it. This is more challenging than uh, when I played this on my own file. Are they flossing back there? Come on now. That thing in the glasses. Bastard is confused. You guys missed- you guys weren't like a part of the crew yet when I played this game the first time, um, but I let my lovely, lovely chat members name all these. The thing's swinging around again. Time for me to skulk off into the darkness of the night. Okay, bye. Great skulking. What's this way? Okay. Nothing. That's cool. Hello, you seem nice. Those tarnation creepsters. One of them jumped out and scared my sweet Ugum off into the wild. He's a big boy, but he's very timid and all alone somewhere out there. I'll keep an eye out for him. If you find him, please bring him back to me. That's probably what's over here. Oh shit! Why he's so big? Why so big? Why are you so big? There you go. You found him! Oh thank goose snaps. <laughs> this game cracks me up. Please take this reward for bringing my baby back to me. Oh cool! All right. I don't know if there's like a collectible that sits on the ground, but there might be. All right. Let me mentally prepare for another dance battle. Oh, you sent it, Alex? Cool, cool. Jump scare. No thanks. Could you practice that somewhere else, maybe? Maybe, if you think you can beat me in a dance battle. I will certainly try. Let's do this combo this time. Chicka ding ding and friends. I want a Left 4 Dead 2 mod that turns all the zombies into hairless gems. You need you need to make it then. Weren't you showing me you modded something? What game was that? I cannot remember for the life of me. Where everybody was a rapper.
Don't take that out of context, that's... <laughs> well, I guess you could. It's pretty out of context. SCP, that's right, that's what it was. Was it? Who was it? Was it Eminem? Let's see if we got a freebie. We did not. Okay. One was Eminem. Okay. Another was Tupac. That's right. Um, gain a hype. Earn five points. Yes. Gangster Spongebob, how could I forget? That was fun. So surely you can get a 3D model of a hairless chimp somewhere. Or just a regular chimp that you make pink. Throw it into some, uh, Left 4 Dead. Let's see, should I get Hive first? Ooh, no. I'm gonna make a model of a hairless chimp. You should do it. I don't know why I didn't just do that and win right away. I was not paying attention. This music is fun. I like this music. It's not gonna work well. I'm sure you'll do your best. Yeah, just give it a shot. Fair play. I'll see if there's somewhere else that's a more receptive to my hair-raising haunting. This thing is so broken. Stop swinging like that. I'm gonna... Why don't I unequip it? Since I'm not trick-or-treating. Because it's freaking out. Oh, well, let me obviously put my witch hat on. Hi, I'm Spooky Steve, the spookiest fellow around. I've been told I'm endearing. What do you think? Maybe? I've heard that the locals around here aren't too fond of you cultists spooking everything up. Hmm, I never really thought about it, but now that you mention it, we are pretty inconsiderate with, like, the whole haunting people deal. Tell you what, if you bring me five bungalow buns to munch on, I'll head home. My heart's not really in it with all this anyway. Seems fair. I'll be back. How is it fair? Just leave, dude. Beck joins a cult. Nah, dude. I'm scaring them off. I'm the savior of this little town. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, these things are so... Well, they don't have... Well, they didn't walk, did they? They just kind of slid across the ground. That's fine. This game is early access, that's fine. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah, I'm never gonna get any of these, am I? Can I- I wanna- they're so cute. Honestly, I got a lot of these in my other game from the dance barn which is like a daily dance tournament you can do um that's got like three rounds and um you get a seed as a prize so i can get some of them that way at least okay What was I doing? I need bungalow buns. What am I doing? Get out of here. I'm just getting a little bit more money. 
so that I uh, can afford all these buns I'm about to buy. Hello! Please. Oh my god, that's cutting it real close. Alright, let's take him back. It's weird to play this game like this with the music on and everything, because usually I will play this game while I'm listening to a podcast. So I keep forgetting that I'm streaming and I'm just like, it's real quiet that I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to be talking. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, brought your buns. Here you go. Okay, a deal's a deal. I'm off to spook people somewhere else then. Or maybe I'll pick up knitting. Oh, and you can have these gembers I found while I was waiting for you. Oh cool, I did get something out of it. That's nice. All right, you don't have to push me. More of these. Hello, you're a witch. We have matching hats, that's cool. Oh, you have to go, Lemon. Well, thank you for stopping by. It was really good to hear from you. Hang out with me in chat, thank you. Hey, don't mind me, I'm just a witch, unaffiliated with the creep cult. Okay. I think people can be spooky without bothering anyone. The townies don't seem to mind me. I give them my extra gembers when they... Which they seem to like. That said, I, I'll still battle you if you'd like to practice. Maybe later. Let's see if we can beat it on our own, but... Mom says she loves me. <gasps> Tell your mom I love her so much. Wow, we gotta fight a lot of people. Welcome to the land of the living dread. I'm here to strike fear into all passersby. Passersby, excuse me. That's a noble goal, but what if instead of that you did anything else? <laughs> like what? I feel like I'm such an asshole in this game, I love it. Well, you can dance battle me. Hmm, interesting proposal. Let's see how I like it. Oh, it's orange! Alright, let's see how we do. Steve is so expensive, like in a Smash. Hmm. These cultists are like ants, yeah. Super fucking annoying and everywhere, yeah, I agree. No, I like this game, this is fun. I think, I mean, they probably mean for you to do it over the course of several days in the game. But, fuck that, we're gonna do it all at once if we can. Which we might not be able to, I mean, they might be too strong for me. Okay, I got six beats now, let's see. Seven points and two hype. Plus another hype. Yeah, we'll do that. Eight points. Cool, cool. Oh no. Oh, two fewer beats, holy shit. Oh, and of course they stunned my stealing move, okay. Okay, nine points and two hype. We'll do it. We're so close. Ooh, but they're getting close too. Hmm. I think I finally found a permanent writing style for my book. That's cool. 
That's really good. Just to make them hurt. I still need to read it. I've been too busy with homework to read any of it yet. Yes, keep leveling up. Very good. Good job, Bastard. Bastard's my favorite. This was actually pretty fun. I think I might go around dancing instead of all this creep crud. Look at us, changing lives. You... Don't look like you belong here. Port forward, realtor. Ahoy! Quite a shame about the creep cold coming in, scaring everyone out of town. I hear port forward is a great little town with no such problems. Might be a good place to move if you're planning on leaving. And I just so happen to have a prime oceanfront property there that I'd be willing to sell you. I don't live in nowhere. Oh, you must be a creep cultist. Really appreciate you folks increasing demand and property values in Port Forward by scaring everyone out of here. You suck. Have my business card in case you haunt up any new leads. Casting off. Okay, bye. That's weird. Oh my god. Look at these little ghost things. Alright, we made it. We probably have one more battle. Oh my god. Grand Arch Proto Creepster Pez Boot. Who dares step foot into the sacred creep temple in my personal hangout zone? Pretty sure this is public property and you shouldn't be living here. You sound so ignorant right now. I'm the Grand Arch Proto Creepster, founder of the Creep Cult, and the most terrifying ghoul to have ever haunted these cursed lands. Okay, I don't really care about any of that. I'm just here to turn on this Ubnit Tower. My sacred Creep Temple? First, you're not allowed in here, and second, no. If the tower turns on, all the lights turn on in here, which wrecks the whole vibe I've got going. What if we have a dance-off to decide? That's how you get shit done. Ludicrous. There's nothing in it for me. I'd never give up my temple over a silly dance-off with someone who couldn't frighten a fleeble. Sounds to me like you're scared. That- are you kidding me? Seriously? I know this is a ploy, but seriously, how insulting. Okay, let's just get this over with. You, your trembling little ooblets don't stand a chance anyway. I guess we'll see. Some of them are very low level. Yeah, Alex, that sounds good. Alright, let's stun somebody right off the bat. I'm jamming to this music, though. Two, three, four... Hmm. We'll just earn some points for now. Oh, damn. Okay. That's just what that thing does, I guess, is it makes jumpers. Ooh. That's a good one. Oh, does that mean my zero one cost one beat? Oh, <gasps> it did! Are you kidding me? That sucks. I should have maybe paid attention to that before I played that card. Hello. 
Seems like we're doing okay so far. Don't know why you did that, it did not make you flustered. Huh. This music is a bop. We'll do some hype. We'll steal some. And then we'll gain some. Cool. Fucking sick. Haha. <laughs> Let's see, I need seven points. Well, here we go. We did it. We cleared nowhere. With such a low level team, too. This doesn't quite work like Pokemon, I guess. Thank you, Alex. Thank you so much for celebrating with me. <laughs> level 4. That mushroom thing had some pretty good moves. I might make that a permanent member of the team. I love that he's just standing there dancing. Everybody just stands there and dances. I really shouldn't have let you trick me into wagering my lair over a dance-off. I suppose you'll be wanting to flip your stupid switch now. Well, go on. Alright, Pennywise. Thank you. Where's the switch? It's over here. That's a bummer. Not sure how I'm going to strike fear without a dark, spooky lair. And I keep hearing all my cultists have been giving up on our mission of scaring those pastel plume townies out of here. How am I supposed to live my best fright life under these circumstances? Maybe it's time to change your strategy. What if you bought your own place and let people who wanted to be frightened come to you? Who would even sell me a place to spook up? I think I might actually know somebody who can help. Here is her card. Hell yeah, we did it. Oh, I thought I was like on top of that thing for a second. That was really weird. <laughs> cool. This was a cute little expansion. I really like this game. All the new ooblets are very cute. Oh my god. Why is it big like that, though? I like these, especially. The little witch hat looking ones. Those were already in the game, but still. The lemon... I'll tell you about the time I did a short... He did not! That sounds very interesting. I don't know if her <laughs> ooblet is okay. It's always like flying outside of the the thing. Oh. I heard you've been pretty busy over in nowhere. It's a pretty weird place, but I finally got their ooblet tower turned on. Where's the camera going? Can you get out of our business? Splenda, let's head over to the Badge Town ooblet tower and see if we've got a signal now. Probably not. There's still another place to go. Bye. We gotta watch her Ubla go to. Mayor Tinsel is so cute. I like wearing her little hat that I got. Not quite enough signal for a connection, but we got another bar. Sweet. 
So we still need to activate more towers. Looks that way. I think the next nearest tower is in Port Forward, so that'll be your next big project. Cool. That will be the next time I play, is when that update comes out. Oh, it communicated in the Twitch chat? That's super interesting. Oh my god. The voice acting in this game is immaculate. Let me take care of this. And then we will go to bed soon. And, uh, go trick or treating again. I should ask Lemon? Okay. Can do. Something about farming and gate, like watering my crops, makes me go dead silent. I do the same thing in um, Stardew Valley, and I don't know why. Again, like I said, I'm not used to uh, streaming this game anymore. I'm used to listening to a podcast while I play it. I love just bashing this shit. Wes was in that stream as well. I don't talk to Wes as often. But they seem very cool. I still need to catch some of their streams sometime. Oh my god, let me go to bed. She is? Yeah. And she streams a lot of games that I have not played before too, so I'm really interested to catch one sometime. I'm trying to just make myself tired so I can go to bed. She got a webcam recently too? Cool. That is probably something I will never do. <laughs> I'm still trying to get a new mic because my... I got a new mic and I did a stream with it, but I'm not even going to upload that VOD because the audio quality is so bad on the microphone. I actually returned it today, so I'm not using it again. So I still need to get a mic that actually works before I even worry about webcam, which I don't want to do. I like my privacy. I'd have to have, like, a background set up, like, yeah, I don't wanna, don't wanna do that, even though it looks, like, fun sometimes. We only actually talk to three people. We'll have to talk to more people tomorrow. I don't like, sh yeah, you don't like showing off on the internet either, yeah, it's, oh, is that a special ugum? I probably won't get it, though. What does Ugum even want? And do I already have it? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Do I ha- oh, I don't have one at all. Oh, and it wants a cooked meal, I'm not gonna get that. I'm just gonna trick or treat. For now. And then, um... Oh! Okay, double. I'm not going to give you anything. 
I don't usually give people gifts because you can get plenty of friendship with them by just talking to them every day. Like, I maxed everyone out very quickly in this game. If you did, you would cover your face. Yeah, I don't even want to bother with it. Because it's, you know... I'm self-conscious. Oh, I can't talk to her because I don't have the Wobbly Flowers. <gasps> Gearhead, hello! Welcome. We're playing Ooblets today. It's been a hot minute since I've played this game. But we just finished the uh, new update stuff. <gasps> Taffy said we're friends. Goals are being achieved. We're doing a little bit of trick-or-treating right now. I don't know if you've ever heard of this game, but it's pretty good. It's early access still. Just talk to me, Tinsel. Talk to me. Thank you. That was some pretty good advice, actually. <laughs> My man, Charles. I'm dressed as- I'm witch Charles for Halloween. <laughs> Charles is funny, I like him. Had to do a personality test today, too, actually. Why did you have to do a personality test, Alex? Something for class. You lost most contact with the gaming world, is that true? That's a shame. Well... <laughs> Sometimes the gaming world is okay. But yeah, this game's pretty fun. There are these little creatures, you can see, called ooblets, that you um, have dance battles with, with other people. And you can, uh, you get seeds, and you plant them, and you grow more ooblets on your farm. So it's this weird, like... Are they plants? Are they living thing? Like, you know, who knows? That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's like... Kind of similar to Pokemon and kind of similar to Stardew Valley. It's like the best of both worlds. And they added a limited Halloween event too for November, so... I'm gonna try to do that today. Get everything for that. Plants are living things. You're right. You're right. Are they sentient, I guess, would be the question. Is that a... meme that he just said? He may have just done a meme. I was not paying attention, though. One said you were logistical, and the other said you were an adventurer. Interesting. I don't think I ever had to take a personality test for class. Maybe in sociology I did. Yes, we just can't communicate with them. Interesting. I saw that on, uh... Mythbusters. Once. They hooked up like a lie detector test to the plant and talked about setting it on fire and it made the thing go. 
If that makes sense. <laughs> Probably not. Ah, and then you need something too, okay. I haven't played this in, I believe it said 77 days, so I don't really remember who is asking for what until I'm already talking to them. I could just look in the bottom left corner, to be fair, but who has the time for that? This is making me want candy. <gasps> We're getting gifts! A sticker! What else did you give me? Cloth plant seed, always good to have. And another witch hat. Is that a different witch hat? Oh my god, it's for my ooblet. Oh my god. Quickly, quickly, who do we choose? Oh my god. This is the best- now we match! This is the best video game. This is it. Pack it in, everybody else. Just give up all others. This is the best video game. Alright, picked up some garbage, cool. I hate Milo so much. Ron Weasley looking ass. Why is it doing this again like it's the first time I've been in here? That was strange. No, don't buy that, please. You get all your mugs from the dump? That's disgusting. Oh my god. This is activating my fight or flight response because I am a barista now. She's very relatable, I'll give her that. Ugh, I have an eight hour shift tomorrow too. I already complained about that today, though, so I won't complain again. Practice some new hairstyles, Patrick. You can do it. Alright, we got all our candy for the day. What is this? I have to do it again? She also had us go to the website. Artist for number one, singer for number two. Special effects technician, that sounds pretty cool. Alright, looks like we're doing another gift basket. 2D News. I got a letter back from the council saying they appreciated our gift basket, but it wouldn't change the situation. They're trying to... close down the town and kick everybody out, I think. So we sent them a gift basket so they wouldn't do that. I think they're just playing hardball for an even better gift basket. I've put together a list of things that I'm sure they'll like. Once they see we mean gift basket business, I'm sure they'll take pity on us. Okay, we can give it a shot, Tinsel. Quib tart, flutey, oh my god, carrot cake, clambrosia. I'm gonna worry about all that later. For now, let's do a little bit of farming. Excuse me, did not mean to push you. Well, let's see if we can make any of this stuff. Okay. That we could probably make. Oh, we don't need that though, do we? Clam brooch. I don't even have these recipes yet. I have some stuff. I have one <laughs> quip dart. Carrot cake? Do I have any of you? No. I'll worry about that later. 
scheduled for three days straight. So after tomorrow, I'll be so fucking tired for a while. Yeah. I usually work a few days in a row per week. Like three or four. At least I only work two days this week and then I get a day off and then I work two more days. I just wish I didn't have to work at 6 a.m. on Thursday. That shift is so crazy too, like it's so busy. Donde esta Joseph? He is playing Dungeons and Dragons right now, actually. We might stream something together again. That was just special for Luigi's Mansion because it's a co-op game. But we might stream some, uh, he might play Bioshock on this channel. But the thing is, he wants to stream too, so, um, I wonder if he shouldn't do that on his own channel, and then I can come be a guest on his channel. Let's go see what else we can do today. I don't really want to do any more dance battles. I'm kind of dance battled out from uh, nowhere. Alright, now I have to be very careful here, guys. I have a history of accidentally grinding up my, uh, my crops for recycling instead of just the cans. So I'm going to be very slow and careful. You work nights, you hate stocking cans. At least, I mean, you probably don't have to deal with customers too much, right? Maybe. Not as often as I do. I have a constant stream of people that I have to deal with. Yeah, but if uh, none of my friends are nerdy enough to play D&D, that's a real shame. Are you on the Discord? Because... I'm interested in playing more D&D. I can't commit to anything because of my work and my school schedule, but... Um, someday in the future I may be interested in playing D&D with some folks on Discord. Had my card stolen from me twice on Monday while I was stocking shelves. That's really shitty. What are you doing back here? Are you playing patty cake by yourself? Is that what's happening? Okay, just gonna mind my business. I think he is. I think he's playing patty cake by himself. Gonna go be back later. All right, Gearhead. Hopefully, I'll still be streaming. I'll probably be going for a little while here. Oh, someone joined him. Someone joined him for patty cake. He's not alone anymore. Okay, it's okay, everybody. He's not alone anymore. You've wanted to get into D and D too. Yeah, we play mostly online. Actually, we don't play with too many people in person. My beloved husband joseph has um one game with people that are local but he does that online now because of shimaronavirus um but he has another game that's just people that are in a bunch of different states that we all know from chicago but everybody moved so that's online too so there's a way to play like you don't have to play with people that are local It'd be really cool if we could set something up. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm not gonna get this cranky pants ghost mask, and I'm not gonna get the eyeball glasses.
Yeah. So we'll probably just trick-or-treat like one or two more days. And get a few of the things. Yeah, I'll buy those when I have enough money. Or candy, rather. Why did I grow all this crap? I guess I can use it to, uh... Make all the stuff I need for the bundle, the uh, basket. Even the anime community is small here, almost non-existent. Yeah... I can imagine. If you live in a small town, that that's pretty... Oh, that's right, I have to wait. I could plant some stuff. Move you there. I have a bunch of ooblets to plant, but I don't have enough room for them to wilt. I could actually plant one. Because I have an obsidian. Alright, let's go in here. And upgrade. Don't have enough clothlets. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Guess I'll do that later. But that's a good thing. I'm growing more then. That's fine. They tried to start a club, but that went nowhere. The only thing that has anything related to it in school is a small manga section in the library. At least you have that. I didn't have that in school. We didn't have any sort of, like, graphic novels at all. We did it... Like, the public library, but not the school library, I guess. Did we at the public library? We must have. I don't remember. I didn't often go to the public library there. And I don't live there anymore, so... What should we grow? Oh, I have one. <laughs> That's helpful. Bristle bud, honey, honey. Fermo. Fleeble. I do have an Ugum seed. I want this little robot, but I think I already have one. We'll do an Ugum. I still have my library card. What was the thing from Arthur? Having fun isn't hard when you've got your library card. That was it, right? <sighs> I don't remember. I honestly just buy books now. So I don't really go to the library. You know what I've been reading? Or what I was reading and then I stopped when school started. I was reading fucking Animorphs, man. As a 24-year-old adult. And those books are fucked up. Moved almost entirely online for reading books. Fair enough. I still like- I like sitting with a book. Like, I like sitting outside and reading a book on a nice day kind of thing. I'm just waiting for the clock to run out, honestly, so we'll just chat for a minute. But yeah, I've been reading Animorphs, or I was before, but I haven't lately. Those books are about, like, child soldiers in war. I didn't realize that. Web novel? Okay, cool. I've been reading a lot of, like, short stories for my literature class that I'm in, so that's pretty fun. They're all written by women, too. It's a women's literature class. So lots of different perspectives. So it's very cool. And it's diverse, too, because I've had some teachers where it's, like, women's lit, and it's all, like, white women in England, and I'm like, where's the flavor? 
Let's get some different opinions in here. So, we just read a little bit from I Am Malala. That was fascinating to read. And I might actually read the whole book. Now that we're done with it in class. Let me go to bed. These are almost done, at least. My little candy pail is going crazy. I have something for my great-grandpa from a war he was in. That's cool. Hang on to that. You should, um... If it's written, you should put it in like a Word document, like Google Docs or something, so you don't lose it. Oh, a hat. <laughs> I thought we were still talking about writing. I thought it was like a diary or something. I'm like, yeah, wow, that's really... Put it in a Word document, Alex. Put the hat in a Word document. That's cool, though. My dad has my great grandpa's like World War II war medal or something like that. And he has my great grandpa's or my great great grandpa had a squirrel gun. They lived out in the woods and they shot an eight squirrel for real. So it's like basically a BB gun, like a very old BB gun. And he, um, he has that, too. I don't have a lot of keepsakes that are like mine. Like, my parents have stuff from their great-grandparents, but... Super into stuff from that time period. That's cool. That's cool. Finally, there we go. Thank you for chatting with me to kill time there. I miss some people still. Okay. Do a little bit more trick-or-treating. Always open for conversation. All right, hell yeah. I might just trick or treat today and then buy what we can. Because my throat hurts pretty bad, so I think I'm going to end the stream soon. Here's hoping the ghosts of my past don't make an appearance. <laughs> Meath, like, makes a comment like she buried a body on your farm. You're quiet all the time? I'm quiet a lot of the time, too. I don't always know what to say. Sometimes my mind goes blank. Which makes streaming difficult, by the way. My mind just goes blank sometimes. Forget I'm playing on a live stream. Who is this? 
Nobody important. See, I'm doing it now. I'm dead silent. Dead air. Don't want that. I'll just get like three more pieces of candy and we'll go buy four things. I think that's fair. I think that's plenty of Halloween items. You drifted out of your friend group? That's a shame. Alright, let me read this for a second. Had a trick-or-treater dressed as a turtle get so excited about Halloween he ran headfirst into a walkway railing he couldn't see in the dark. He's generally okay now. Okay, I thought that was an I like turtles meme. That was a Halloween thing, wasn't it? But I don't think it is. Yeah, that happens sometimes, Alex. It's always really rough when it does. Okay. We need this ghost mask, obviously. Obviously. We need the skeleton. We need this. Yes, absolutely. I would like the jack-o'-lantern mask as well. Alright. Oh my god, yes. Oh wow, they really just put the whole thing on your head. Oh! <gasps> I love it. I wish some of the stuff didn't clip so bad. Maybe they'll fix that later. Oh my god, I love it. I do also wish sometimes, not so much in this case, that your hair stayed the same with your hats on. Maybe that's just me. But alright, I think that's where I'm gonna end it. We did our trick-or-treating, and we did our nullware update stuff. So I think I'm gonna stop for now. And, uh, make some tea, because my throat kind of hurts. Because I've been talking all day. Don't worry, I'm not sick or anything. I've just been talking a lot today. But thank you all for hanging out with me in chat. And thank you to everybody who watches after I'm done streaming. It's been real. Alex, thank you for hanging out with me the whole time. Always fun to hear from you. But, uh... That's going to be it for today. So I will see you all next time. I don't know when that's going to be because I've been very busy lately, but uh, hopefully sometime soon. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.